Hello, and thank you for watching our Unitronics Tech Tidbit. Today we'll show you how to use an incrementer for troubleshooting your ladder code. If you're unsure whether or not your subroutines are being called, or if your nets are running more than you wanted them to, an incrementer has the ability to display the amount of scans a particular section of code is being executed. For instance, we'll call subroutine 1 here. And within the first net of our subroutine, We'll add an incrementer. Call this log sub calls. We'll download this to the controller. And now we'll go online with the controller. And we can see here the subroutine is being called every scan. This is due to the fact because it's placed against the rail in our main routine. If we only wanted to call the subroutine once, we could put a positive transition contact before the subroutine. I will get to MV0. And now we'll download this to the controller. And we'll go online with the controller again. We'll go into our subroutine and clear out our incrementer. Okay. And if we set MB0, we'll see our subroutine was called, and it was only called once. Um, perhaps maybe. You'd like to know how many scans a certain net operation is running? Place the incrementer at the end of the ladder code and go online with the controller again, much like we did here, to monitor the incrementer. Uh, this is particularly helpful in determining how often a fast operation is executing. For example, when sending messages over Ethernet, the process can be very fast, and it may not seem like it's working because the ladder initializes and turns off in a matter of a couple scans. So the the incrementer will log these operations for you. Uh, for instance, here in this sending an email, uh, if we place an incrementer right after this reset, uh, we can monitor how many times or how often the email is being sent. Uh, the incrementer function block is a great way to view the executions that are happening fast, uh, pace, and cannot easily be seen while going online with the controller. Thank you. My name is Shane Pratt.